Hey everybody, this is my experimental deep sand bed tank and up until very recently it was filled with nothing but native fish, that's what all those little fish you can see swimming around are immediately, those are gambusia or mosquito fish, but I also added a nearite snail which you can see down here at the edge of the sand and then I've got four golden zebra loaches which you can see off to the left side of the tank swimming around doing their thing and I realized yesterday that this tank needs some real snails and by real snails I mean something more like you would find around here in a native environment and so I just dropped in a couple of big ram's horn snails probably some smaller ram's horns in there as well uh, it's kind of hard to tell when they get down to that small size. And then I've got bladder snails and possibly pond snails. I was calling those bladder snails pond snails for years until I found out they actually are bladder snails, not pond snails. But I do believe I probably have some pond snails too. So the snails are going to help just be part of the natural environment. They're going to be help part be you know part of the cleanup crew. Uh, they're going to add visual interest so the tank doesn't look so stark and empty. And I'm assuming a lot of them will become food for those loaches, which is just going to be good for the loaches to help get them in good shape. It'll be activity for them to hunt and root around looking for them. Um, you know, good stimulating activity for them to do their natural foraging behavior. And it's good healthy food for them. Plus, it will help balance out the tank. So that's it. I just put out a 40-minute uh, Around the World video yesterday, Around the World update. So if you haven't seen that yet, uh, you can check that out. Uh, we have these loaches already turning over those large snails right there in the front. Uh, they keep rolling over and investigating them. So it should definitely be interesting to see if they make a meal out of any of those smaller loaches. But as I was saying, I just posted a fairly long video yesterday. And I'm going to give everybody time to get caught up on that. I don't like to do two long videos back to back. So we're going to call that it for this video. And we're going to wait and see what happens so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss anything i got coming up we're going to follow the progress on this tank uh these loaches right here in the front that are digging and burrowing they actually do seem to be going uh especially this one here in particular seems to have found some smaller snails that it's very very interested in so i definitely think this is a good idea putting these snails in here for these loaches to uh, investigate. I was just about to say I've not noticed any issue with the nearite snail. I don't know if the nearite snail is the wrong kind of snail. I don't know if it's just too big. But this one now, the one I just pointed at, or these two really, are actually going after that larger snail too. Let's see if we can move that camera in a little closer. I've got it on a tripod, but I think I can lean it forward. Oh yeah, that's definitely going after that snail shell. Alright everybody, there you go. Those loaches are definitely going to have a field day with all those snails in the tank now. If they're going after those big ones like that, they're going to have plenty of hunting and foraging looking for those smaller ones. So that's it. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up or follow the progress on this tank. This whole tank is designed to be an experiment in denitrification. So those loaches are only in here uh, temporarily anyway. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss the progress of them or any of my other fish. So thanks again. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.